Hello everybody, uh, I am uh, Santi Vege. I am the director of the Multidisciplinary Pancreatic Clinic uh, here at Mayo. And I want to tell you a few things about uh, our clinic as well as the practice of acute pancreatitis, which is a very common situation where people have very severe abdominal pain and that require hospitalization. And a proportion of these people will have really bad disease of needing many, many interventions. We have a strong track record of uh, being one of the leaders in this field, acute pancreatitis. We have nearly 300 admissions every year at, at our hospitals, probably the largest number, uh, at least one of the largest numbers in the country. And we also have several people who get admitted elsewhere. They recover, but they have ongoing issues to find out the cause of pancreatitis, or they have fluid collections which require sophisticated drainage by endoscopic, radiologic, laparoscopic combination routes, and they are referred to us. Besides the 300 who get admitted to us, we may probably have many more who come to the clinic for these needs too. And the reason why Mayo Clinic is probably the best place to go for acute pancreatitis is the presence of a multidisciplinary team which consists of pancreatologists who are in the hospital taking care of these patients as quarterbacks. Then you have a group of interventional endoscopists doing endoscopic ultrasound and ERCP to drain these collections in the most effective way. And you have world-class laparoscopic surgeons doing the same type of drainage if it is required by the drought, and occasionally surgery, which is very rare these days. Also, we have we are probably the only place where prospectively a drug trial has already been completed because there are no drugs for this disease and that's the biggest part. And we are hoping that uh, some NIH sponsored trials for new drugs will come and eventually we'll be able to come up with a drug for this very common uh, abdominal condition which can sometimes be very severe. So for these reasons, if somebody has acute pancreatitis, and if it is severe, uh, they can, they are usually being transferred to our uh, institution uh, from wherever they are. And sometimes if they get dismissed, but they do not know why it has happened, it can happen again. Or if they have a collection that needs to be addressed, probably uh, this is uh, a place where I would at least bring my relatives if, uh, if they have this problem for the reasons I mentioned. So, it's because of our long experience, and I'm actually the lead in acute pancreatitis here, various national and international guidelines and the classification of this disease all have been uh, based out of Rochester. And I'm one of the authors in most of these guidelines that are being followed widely, as well as in up-to-date too. So acute pancreatitis, a very common condition, 200, more than 200,000 admissions every year in the United States. $3 billion in healthcare every year because of these problems. Uh, Mayo Clinic, Pancreatic Clinic, as well as Mayo Clinic Hospitals would be a very good place for you or your patient to be treated if you have this problem. Thank you.